In this video, I'll show you three easy ways to fade in and fade out audio in Filmora 11. Uh, they're pretty handy ways that you can use. And welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So I'm inside Filmora 11 and basically what you need to do is let's say we want to drag in a video and let's say we want to fade in the audio right here. So something that you'll notice, you may not notice here, but uh, if I bring this video to the side a little bit when you hover over the audio you'll notice a marker right here there's a marker that appears if you hold on to that uh, like that you can drag it to the side and fade in that particular audio that's faded in and if we actually go to the end of this particular video uh, you'll see another marker to fade out that particular section so if we actually uh, fit to timeline you'll see the markers available you can drag them wherever you want but that might be too much for this particular audio because it's a voiceover but if it was some music then this will come in handy and all that so that's method number one method number two is also very simple so what we might do here we actually we can add an audio file let's just add this particular audio file here and it's loaded up uh, to our timeline and we can just double click on it and once we double click if you go to the audio section, you see the option to fade in and fade out. If I drag this slider to the left, you'll notice that it's uh, it's going to fade in and add a marker here, 30 seconds in, and then you can also fade out and you'll see the same result down here. So it's pretty handy. You can also input whatever number of seconds that you want uh, as the fade in and the fade out. Pretty handy, especially if you want precise details. To reset, you just click on this uh, and it changes to where you want now we can just reset this and this and then i'll show you the third method and uh this that method is more or less where you need to use uh things called keyframes now in filmora 11 uh, or even in filmora 10 this is not very clear uh, but uh, what you need to do is let's assume you want to fade in the music right here and it goes down uh, so that you hear what's happening in this particular section so what we might do, we can just come here, you select where you want, and then we might need to scroll down slightly. And on this side, you'll notice something called a keyframe. It's at uh, the volume keyframe just under uh, underneath uh, this volume uh, level here. So what we might do is we might select this particular section, add a keyframe. And once you click on that, a keyframe is added. And what happens is, let's just fit to timeline. If you pull this keyframe down, everything will go down. Let's control Z to undo that change. So we assume you want to make the music go down somewhere here. So you'll need to select a range, add another keyframe, and then let's just zoom in. You'll need to add another keyframe just in front of the, the area of your interest. Let's assume we add one here, click on add uh, to add another keyframe, and then we can zoom to fit and then come to the start here, uh, zoom in again, so that we probably add another one here. Uh, let's add a keyframe. So what we have right now is we have two audio keyframes uh, on the left and two audio keyframes on the right. So the reason why we've done that is because when we adjust the audio of this particular mm -hmm. section, and we can actually just now hold, when you see the hand, bring it down, you will not affect anything uh, that's uh, on the left or on the right because of these volume keyframes that are stopping the effect to, uh, from being added. So if we can actually zoom in, we can just bring this back up and see uh, what we get. So you'll see that there's a slight fade there and you can, if you hold on that, you'll see by how many decibels. Alternatively, you can actually just uh, check on this particular slider and if you move it, you can up it so that you can make it loud, but that's too loud and you can just uh, bring it down slightly. Let's say to where you want uh, these are uh, the decibels. If I just scroll this slightly, you'll be able to see by how many decibels you're reducing your particular audio by. So if you have a, an exact figure, you can actually just input it here. Let's say minus nine dB. If I click on that, it moves down. So uh, those are basically the three ways that you can uh, easily fade in and fade out audio in Filmora 11. Uh, we have the fade in using the markers. We have, uh, and the fade outs using the markers. We have the fade in the fade outs 
using the sliders and then we have the method where you use keyframes especially if you want to do fade-ins here uh, and you'll notice that this particular one just affected this particular point so if you wanted to actually add one on this other one uh, this one it's at now minus 5.18 let's bring it down to minus 9 db i believe enter and i believe they're now the same line so that's it from me fitting in and fitting out audio in filmora 11 is super simple and you can achieve it in three ways thanks for watching